Chancellor Balakrishnan, uh, Vice Chancellor Ghosh, Chief Guest Mike Laurie, my eminent colleagues on the dais, members of the Board of Trustee, parents, relatives, graduating students, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this third convocation of Shivnada University. A very special thanks to Chief Guest Mike Laurie for traveling thousands of miles from New York to Delhi just to be with us and deliver the commencement to speech. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring commencement speech today. I'd like to thank the founder of this university, Mr. Shivnadar, and the Board of Trustees for their philanthropic work in the field of education. Thank you, sir, for your continued guidance and support to the university. Above all, thank you, Mr. Nader, for trusting me with a job I had no idea about when I came here four years ago. I want to thank the students who played the national anthem and the live music before the ceremony started this afternoon. I'd like to acknowledge the effort of people who worked behind the scenes for the last two months to make this function possible. There's one person who has managed it all with sheer hard work and perseverance. Her name, Anubha Bali. <laughs> Anubha, stand up and wave your hands so people know where you are. You'll be somewhere. I request Anubha's team, who has been equally at it in managing this work. Can you please wave your hand? I'm sure you're all standing, but just wave your hand so we know where you are. Bhaskar and his amazing admission team. Bhaskar Mishra, you there. Kapil and his marketing team. Kanad, Rajesh and the IT team. Keep standing, Shailesh and his team. Rohit and his team. Sudhir and his team. Sudhir is sitting here, but his team is right behind the register office, Ram Sharma. <laughs> Sharvi, Tapas, Dinesh, Maji, Ram Sagar, Harinder, Rajiv Singh, and all the other staff and faculty volunteers who made this function happen. Let's not forget more than 100 student volunteers who have been there all over the place. This function wouldn't be possible without all the effort that you put in. And a lot of coordination, which all of you guys did, has been amazing. There's more to come this evening, so hold your breath. After this function, we have some more performances out in the lawns. The same team has done that all. We are indeed uh, honored to have all the distinguished guests on this Saturday afternoon who came to Shivnata University to be with us on this uh, momentous occasion. A uh, special thank to all the parents, family members uh, on the first floor and the ground floor. I'm sure you'll be very proud. I'm sure you'll be very proud of your daughter and son who have been graduating this year. Thank you for being here today. To the class of 2017, uh, what can I say? You guys are just amazing. <laughs> uh, 
since I have a chance to talk, I will repeat one more time for the last time what I think are the three criteria of success. I'm sure you know it all by heart now. And I'm going to use more formal language rather than what I've been using with you guys. Punctuality, cleanliness, and respect for all. If you follow this, this will give you good thing in life. I'm sure you will make a positive impact in the lives of people around you, your family, your workplace, your society, and your country. You will all turn out to be responsible citizens of India and will make us all proud. To all of, it, all of you, I wish success and happiness. Last but not the least, there is one person here I can never thank enough. Like most of you, I took admission in this university in 2013. You guys came in August, I came in October. So in a sense, uh, this is my graduating year. I've done four years, guys. <laughs> so in 2013, when I came here, like you, this was a brown campus. You know what I mean? There were more construction sites and less operational sites. There was no library, no research block, no mini-mart, no bank, no housing, nothing. So my wife and I moved into a hostel, like you did, converted to an apartment. And after nearly four years, we still lived there. The person who stood alongside me all through these challenging years without any complaint. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm referring to my wife, Kirti. She never ever complained about missing facilities in the campus and was always with me, always very positive and practical. Many of the landscaping ideas which you see in the campus, uh, the palm garden, the chess garden, and few others, I know the Palm Garden was especially liked by many people, many of you. We see you there. <laughs> These were the ideas which originated from her during our evening walks every evening in the campus. No, we are not doing what you guys were doing in the Palm Garden. <laughs> So thank you, Kirti, for being there. I'm truly grateful. I'd like to close by thanking all my esteemed colleagues at Shivnada University, the faculty, the staff, the students. I consider the convocation to be a high point in the university's academic calendar. This third one will set the future traditions of the university. It indeed is an honor for all of us in SNU to be part of this memorable ceremony today. Thank you all and God bless.